Hello everyone, Larry Satchel here again in the shop with a little fix it or modification. I made this computer desk for Dana. We were trying to think probably 20 years ago. I think she used it when she was still in college. Um, and that would have been before the turn of the century. Anyway, it was a real popular piece at the time. You know, I had a pull out drawer to put your keypad and everything. Well, she has since handed it down to Libby who was doing virtual school this year. And I asked her, uh, it had broken. I had used this, um, it looks like cherry, probably grandpa's cherry, and it had become brittle over the years and the screws had fallen out. I really didn't use the right screws, I don't think. So instead of making this a keyboard desk, which no one uses anymore, uh, I'm gonna just make it a drawer. I don't think it'll be hard. I'm hoping I can do it, but we've been invited to their house Tomorrow, the last soccer games of the season are tomorrow. So I'm hoping I can put this together in short order and just take it over there and screw it back where it was with any luck. As you can clearly see, there's a gap right here where the hinges went down. And if you're going to make a drawer, everything's going to fall out of there. So what I think I need to do is kind of disassemble the whole thing and then start with reassembly. Huh, sounds very familiar for all my projects. So that's out of the way. I was hoping that I had just screwed this together with those four screws, but I think I must have glued it. Let's get the handle off. Oh, wonderful. I got lucky. It, I had just done that. Great. Giving it some thought. And I think the easiest thing to do is to use biscuits. I probably could use crate screws on the bottom, but then you're gonna feel it when you open the drawer. And I just think biscuits are gonna hide it well. So I've marked where the biscuits need to go. I'm gonna use the bench here as the referencing point. I'm going to dry fit this first. Yeah, that's going to work. Now, because this has some stain on it and some varnish that I don't want to take off, I'm going to use Tight Bond Quick and Thick. It's a multi-surface glue. So, um... And it's an interior glue, but I think it'll work perfect for this project. These are number 10 biscuits. I'm using them because Norm Abrams used them. And I have this really old biscuit joiner. I will never afford a domino. Uh, I just can't justify the seven or eight hundred dollars it cost. And I think this will add plenty of strength. 
for what I need. Plus, it's going to be tied in to the sides here, so should not be a problem. Now, what's the best way to do this? Maybe like this. Wow, I like that. Nice clean look in the front. Well, that's glued. While the glue is drying, I can go ahead and work on some other parts here. I have this piece of uh, cherry. This looks like it's about a half inch thick. Not really, doesn't really matter. I want to put this board back where I got it. And so I'm going to screw it back on here for a minute. Or in fact, looks like it was probably milled at the same time. So I'm thinking, put this board here. That way I can put some screws in it from the bottom. I'm going to cut this board off so that I can screw this board into the side. I will make the back then. I think we're cooking with Crisco now. This is two and three quarters here, so I need to go over to the table saw and rip this to two and three quarters. So I've got these cut to size. My... Uh, I had to actually cut through one of these screw holes, so I made a new one. I still have reference points. So now I can go ahead and pre-drill these so I know exactly where they're going to go. Ah! I don't have a drill extractor. Uh, nothing's ever easy, is it? So, next best thing is vice grips. And I'm not just using that as a generic name, this actually are vice grips. Kind of like all tissues are Kleenex. All band-aids are band-aids. This is a tapered drill bit, so they're a little more expensive to replace, but I've gotten a lot of mileage out of this one. They are replaceable. So now I'll go ahead and drill the holes on the side. And now I'll replace this piece. You know, I'm not exactly sure why this piece is here, but I'm glad it is. Because it sure made this part easier. Well, I just looked at my inventory, and I am, of course, out of inch and a quarter screws that I wanted to use for here. I have some construction outdoor screws for it. This is a little uh, box of lost screws. Uh, screws that are, if I have a handful, like pocket change. And if I take something apart, and I think these little screws came from something I took apart. I've got three six over there, one, two, three, four. I'm very close. These don't need to be big screws. 
I certainly don't want to blow these sides out, so I'm going to drill pilot holes in all of here, these. Little screws like this wood will. And this is all solid cherry. This bottom is half inch thick. Now follow the same procedure and drill some holes for the back. Well, I put the handle back on, everything's together. I put the hardware back on. I've got my spacers under here, so theoretically, if this is the underside of the top of the desk, tomorrow I should be able to put this right in, back where it was, and everything will work fine. Libby will have a drawer instead of a keyboard holder in her virtual desk. <laughs> Not a virtual desk. In her desk for virtual learning. We'll see. Right now. All right, let's see if this fits. All right, Libby, I need your help for a minute. What? Go over there. Wait till I screw this one in. Whoops. Can you get it? There you go. All right, let me put this screw in. All right, see if you can open the drawer. Cool. There we go. And close it so it opens and closes. Perfect. All right, let me put a couple more screws in so it doesn't fall off this time, and then we'll turn it over. Huh? Well, I'll take, I can take. Yep. like my little corner here. I made the desk. This is Dana's music box I made for her sheet music. This is kind of cool because it got these slides from Lee Valley and all I did was make the front soon. They uh, have a slot here for the plywood. And then over here I made this set of shelves. Oh, and up there is Ian's tote. Well, there it is complete. And she says she's happy. Thanks for watching.